So now let's look at a more complicated example of how we can use dimensional analysis. So a little bit longer problem here. The first thing I'm going to do is read through the entire problem. And as I come across things that th I think might be important in solving the problem, I'm going to kind of underline those or mark those just so I can remember to pull those out when I'm done reading. So it says the first measurement of sea depth was made in 1840 in the South Atlantic, where a plummet was lowered 24, 25 fathoms. And it says, what is this depth in meters? And it tells me that one fathom equals six feet. Now there is one more number listed in the problem, 1840, but that's just the year of when this was done. So it's not really going to be uh, a part of solving that problem. Now even when we looked at simpler problems, the first question we always asked was what were our starting units? Then we asked what did we try to get to and then what relationships do we know to get us from point A to point B? So let's look at our starting units. And so we're given a measurement in units of fathoms. And then we're going to finish, so we want to end in units of meters. And so now what I want to do is make kind of a, a list of things that I might need to know. Now it's given us this one relationship, one fathom equals six feet. But I also realize that I've got to get somehow from feet to meters. So I want to think of any conversion factors that might help me get between feet and meters. And so I know that um, one foot equals 12 inches and one inch equals 2.54 centimeters and 100 centimeters equals one meter. Now you may have remembered the direct conversion between meters and feet, in which case you don't need to go through multiple steps. It just depends on what you have um, available in your brain to solve this problem. Um, I find that I use this one inch to 2.5 centimeters a lot. That way I'm not remembering a lot of different conversion factors. And the other reason I like using this one is because that's a, an exact value. So what I don't have to worry about is my conversion factor being a limiting um, in the number of significant figures I can have in my answer. So now, just like in simpler problems, we're going to start by putting with what we are given, what number we start with. And we're only really starting with one measurement, so it's not too hard to figure out where we're going to start. So we have 24, 25 fathoms. Now I know no matter what I do, no matter what the rest of the problem is going to be, I know I have to have fathoms on the bottom because that has to cancel out. And I know that one fathom equals six feet. That was a relationship I was given. So now I can say, well, fathoms cancels with fathoms. Now I say, well, I've got something in feet. So I could say, well, one foot is 12 inches because this is the only relationship other than fathoms to feet I have that involve feet. So one foot is 12 inches. Again, I can cancel out the units here, feet and feet. I'm left with inches. And now I have one inch is 2.54 centimeters. So now inches cancels with inches. And then I have 100 centimeters is one meter. And now centimeters cancels with centimeters. So now I know I made this problem look really easily easy because I've done this for a really long time. But you are going to get there where these problems are easier to set up. The key thing is to look at your units that are in the numerator and figure out what needs to go in the denominator for them to cancel out and set the entire problem up at once. Here I can see that fathoms cancel, feet cancel, inches cancels, and centimeters cancel, and I'm left with meters. There will be times where you do something and not everything cancels out correctly. So before you've actually done any calculation, what you can see is that something is correct and you need to change something about the setup of the problem. So always worry about the setup, worry about your units first, then go back and do the calculation. So now I can go back to my calculator and say 2425 times 6 times 12 times 2.54 divided by 100 equals 4435 meters. And I've rounded this to four significant digits because my original value had four sig figs. And all of these parts here, all of these relationships or conversion factors are all exact numbers. So I don't have to take those into account when I'm determining the correct number of significant figures for an answer.